There are a lot of videos out there of how to make paracord bracelet slings, but a lot of them require a jig. And this is a video of how to make one with just using paracord, no jig, just your hands. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to measure your, your, your wrist for a bracelet. And the easiest way to do that is just take a piece of paracord, wrap it around your wrist. You don't want it really tight, but kind of snug, as you can see there. Then measure that down. Mine is seven and a half inches. So with that, I just take the ends. I take about eight feet of paracord, snip them off, and then just burn them here on the edge. And then just find the, find the middle point here of that. And then from there, you'll take your buckle. I use 5 8 contoured buckles. Uh, you can use 3 8 Just make sure they're contoured. That way they'll lay a little bit flatter on your wrist. Then there's two openings. I use the, the wider of the two. Then you'll just put that end through, wrap it around, and pull it tight. Just like that. Then I'll take this off. And I'll take one end and put it away from me so it goes through. And then I'll take the other end and I'll bring it in towards me. So when it's all, when you put them all through, it should look like that where one end is facing this way and the other end is facing that way. Okay, then mine was seven and a half inches, so I add one inch. By adding one inch, uh, when you weave the paracord, it's gonna loop, shrink about a half inch, and then I also add uh, another half inch just so then it's not super skin tight on your, on your wrist and it cuts off your circulation, so there's a little bit of room to move. So, um, since mine was seven and a half, I'll make this one eight and a half. And whatever, this is probably the most important part when making these, whatever is coming out towards you, that's gonna be the one that's gonna make the loop. So here for this, we'll make a loop. Then this other side is gonna go underneath, up, and through that hole. and cinch it tight. Then I double check on the measurements just to make sure it stayed. So mine's an eight and a half. And then it's gonna change sides. So before the outside was on this side, or the one facing me was on this side, now the one facing me is on this side. So now I'll make a loop on here, bring it around and through here. Make that tight. Okay, now it's switch sides again. So this one's gonna be the loop. This one's gonna go around and through. Make it tight. If you continually made the loop on the right hand side, this will just be a corkscrew. It'll just make a corkscrew rather than a flat bracelet. So you're just going to continue doing that, going opposite sides. Make sure that it's whatever one is coming towards you is the one that's going to be making the loop. And when you're all done with it, it'll look like this. So you've weaved it all the way down, and now you're left with these little, with these sides right here. So the easiest way, or the thing that I do, is I'll then just take them here, snip off the edges kind of as close as you can get them, just like that. And then you'll just take your lighter, burn it, and then I push it up against here. And then same thing here. Alright, and then 
Yeah. So when it fits on your wrist, there we go. So it'll look like that where it's not, I don't know if you can see, there we go. So it's not super tight. It'll come up maybe about right there. Just gives a little bit of room on there so it's a little bit nicer weave. Um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Uh, we'll be making a couple more videos here. One is how to make uh, a king cobra weave. So the one we just made is a cobra weave. So this one's twice as thick. And now it's pretty easy. And then I'll also show you how to make one with two different colors. So this one's got a digital cam camo and an OD green. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.